Hello, this is Michael Keyes. My feeling is that there are people on the line today who have taken on listings in a price range that are too high, and because of this, there is little or no interest in the property. So I'm going to share with you my downloadable price reduction formula so that you'll know when it's time to reduce without fail. It'll be staring you in the face, and you won't be able to put it off. It'll be hanging right on the wall in front of you. Now, there are two ways to approach the price reduction. You can either do it the easy way or the hard way. We can be proactive about price reductions from the beginning, setting them up at the listing presentation and being self-disciplined and working to a schedule. Or we can avoid the price reduction. We can shirk our responsibilities. We can make excuses. We can hide. And this often results in the loss of the listing and 10 other listings over a 10-year period. You see, I honestly believe that if you lose a listing because you don't have the courage to reduce the price and that property goes to another agent and is sold by another agent, that agent will pick up 10 sales over 10 years from that sale through referral business. And I believe every listing that you lose because you don't have the courage to reduce, you're losing $100,000. So have the courage to reduce. So let's break it down. If you put off your price reductions, even after a time with no inquiry, what happens? Well, on the one hand, the vendor is thinking, my agent hasn't called. I wonder if there's any inquiries. And in the meantime, the agent's thinking, bugger, I don't want to call them because I've had no inquiries. Oh, well, I'll call my other vendors who I can make happy. Then the vendor is thinking, well, there haven't been any inspections lately. What's going on? The agent's in a panic. I haven't had any inquiries. They say things in the office like that vendor's all over me. Please, somebody take somebody through the property. The vendor's thinking, what are they actually doing to sell my property? The agent's thinking, well, hang on, I've got to create a new ad, I've got to do an open inspection or promote the property. And then the vendor starts thinking this, maybe I made a mistake in selecting that agent to sell my property. I did like that other agent. And the agent still puts off calling because of the lack of inquiry and lack of courage. And then finally, the vendor says, maybe I'll call that other agent and see if they're still available to sell my property. After all, my current agent's not doing anything to sell it. And the agent still avoids calling because the house is clearly in the wrong price range and they don't want to be a dream shatterer. Sometimes in my career, I went through periods when my results dipped. I knew that I lacked motivation for the price reduction. So I created a simple formula for working out whether a property needed to be reduced or not. And it was this. If the property had been on the market for a maximum of 21 days, and there'd been no offers, and if there was no genuine interest in the property, then the property needed to be reduced. So from here, I had no excuses. If it worked out that after 21 days, there'd be no inquiries or I had some inquiries, but there was no real genuine interest, I just had to reduce. I wrote this on my wall and every day when I tried to busy myself with other things to avoid the price reductions and don't we just crave distractions sometimes, there it was staring me in the face. And of course, the more price reductions you do, the more confidence you have. And the more confident you are in what you're saying, the more likely it is the vendor will agree with you that the price needs to be reduced. And once the price comes down, and it may take a few reductions to get it in the price range that's going to attract the buyers, but you will invariably sell the property, and you'll be the hero rather than the incompetent fool who refused to reduce. Once this happens, you'll receive referral business. When I was selling, I calculated over a 10-year period. One sale turned into 10 from people telling their friends about me. And the whole reason I do this is to help other agents succeed using the tools that help me. Hey, if you like this video, please click the like button and share it via Twitter or email. I just want to help people to make more sales. So I wish you every success in real estate. Until next week, this is Michael Keyes saying goodbye.